hey what's going on guys my name is jim fahad in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to collect payments for single product purchase via paypal that might be an ebook or t-shirt or anything you want to sell on your website then i will show you how to collect donation payment via paypal on your website and then i will show you how to collect subscription fees or recurring fees via paypal on your website and the great news is you don't need to set up a complex e-commerce or you don't need to write a single line of coding we can do everything only by using elementor and elementor pro plugin so before starting just to make sure you have elementor and elementor pro plugin installed on your website and yeah if you don't have elementor pro just go to the very first link in the description you can purchase elementor pro from that link and just to make sure your elementor version is 3.2 or above though here i already have created this design earlier but in this tutorial my goal is not to show you how to design this kind of layout or all this thing i just want to focus only how to use this paypal button widget so first of all let's say if you have a product like an ebook you want to sell that and receive that money via paypal directly so let's do it from scratch first i want to delete this button so from here click on this pencil icon right click on this button and let's delete it now from the widgets i'm searching here for paypal here we go let's now just drag it under this 14 dollar limited time text here so here is our default paypal button all right so first thing from the left here you can see paypal account so here you should put your paypal email address and then here you can see transaction type as it would be a single product purchase so i'm selecting checkout then item name I'm naming it SEO book then give it a SKU number then here's the price field so I want to make the price $14 then of course you should select the currency so I'm selecting US dollar you can select quantity from here and if you want to set any shipping price you can do that from here then if you need to add any tax you can select percentage for instance I'm giving it 5 percentage all right now call up this pricing and payment tab now let's open the button tab from here you know you can change the text by default it's buy now i want to keep it then you can adjust the alignment from here left alignment or centered or right aligned i want to keep it left then if you don't want this default paypal icon you can set this icon to none but i want that so i'm selecting it from icon library i'm searching for paypal this one is the paypal official icon so i'm selecting this one and click on insert here we go now you can adjust the icon spacing from here so i'm gonna keep it 16 then you can put a unique button id here if you want now let's open the additional options so here's the redirect after success option like after a successful completion of purchase if you want to redirect your customer to any thank you page or success page you can put that pages url here then if you want to make any test purchase then turn this send box option on and then put your send box email address here and don't forget to turn off the send box option after all of your testing and then this open paypal in new tab option is by default on and i also recommend to keep this option turned on otherwise people may lose the actual page they were and lastly here is custom messages option like if you want to make all the error messages custom you can do that from here but i don't want that so i'm keeping it turned off and that's pretty much it you can keep it like this if you want but now i want to do some styling with this so let's just go under style tab let's do some typography steps so i'm clicking on this pencil icon font size i want to make it 18 pixel and i just want to make the line height to one all right now text color i want to make it this bluish color and then here is the color that's the button color i want to make it this yellowish color so i'm selecting this one the color code is fddc5b all right now i want to put some border radius maybe 50 pixel and i also want to add some padding so let's just unbind it on top and bottom i want to give 15 pixel and right and left i want to give 40 pixel of padding like this 
and on the hover state i just want to reverse the colors so now the text color i want to make that yellowish color and the button background color i want to make that blue color so on hover the color just reversed cool all right now let's just click on this update button to save our work let's now create our paypal donation button here like above first i want to delete the existing button so i'm right clicking here and deleting this one now let's click on this rubik's cube icon and again i'm searching for paypal now let's drag this widget underneath this text here again first push your paypal email address here and this time transaction type instead of checkout i wanna make it donation item name i would say empowering women donation let's give it a SKU number again and here you can make the donation amount to fixed so you can set a fixed amount like 50 dollar or you can make the donation amount option to any amount so client can decide what to pay so that could be anywhere between one cent to one hundred dollar to two hundred dollar or anything they want to donate all right now let's click on this button option here instead of buy now i want to make it donate now here i also want to set the icon spacing to 16 like above and instead of doing all this styling from scratch i just want to copy the above style like this so just right click here click on copy and on this donate button right click here and click on paste style boom let's now click on this update button again to save our work let's now have a look on our last option that's the subscription one so again i just want to delete this one first now let's go to elements again i'm searching for paypal widget let's now drag this under this 99 dollar per month text here again first put your paypal email address here and this time transaction type select the subscription one so let's say you have a website maintenance service and you want to charge your client 99 dollar per month to maintain their website okay so let's give the item name to web service now let's give it a SKU number price i want to give it 99 dollar and of course don't forget to select the currency i'm selecting it to us dollar and here's the billing cycle you can set it to daily weekly monthly or yearly i want to set it to monthly and by default here auto renewal option is turned on as it will be a recurring payment so i want to keep it turned on now let's click on this button tab here instead of buy now i want it to say subscribe now and icon spacing i want to give it 16 like above 2 and again i don't want to style it from scratch so just copy one of its style just click on copy and then go back to this button right click here and click on paste style let's now again click on this update button to save our work let's now preview it so the first one is a single product purchase so let's now click on this buy now button so this one is working perfectly you just need to sign in and pay that now close this the next one is the donation one click on this donate now button it's working perfectly as well you may remember we have set the amount to any amount so people can decide what to donate so if anyone wants to donate 100 dollar they can do that they just need to put the amount here and click on this donate with paypal button so it's working perfectly let's now go back here is our last option the subscription one let's now click on this subscribe now yep it's working perfectly as well you just need to log in with your paypal account and subscribe i hope it would make your life more easier now no matter if you want to sell a single product or if you want to collect donation for yourself or for your organization or if you want to collect subscription or recurring fees via paypal you can do all this very easily in this way thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel to watch more similar content like this and turn on the notification bell to get notified before anyone and if you need any kind of assistance for your website or if you want to make your website from scratch then you can contact me personally through my website that's jimfahaddigital.com i will see you in the next video bye bye